to Still Grizzly's channel. Um, we are actually going to start the Little Nightmares too. It just came out recently. Um, a friend of ours, Calamity Code, was kind enough to get this game for me. Um, I told him I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to wait until uh, until um, it goes on sale or something. He's like, nah, fool. I got you. <clears throat> you're gonna you're gonna play this game now. She's actually distracted playing Sackboy right now. You just step in to beat the bad guys for her. That's what a, a true dad does. Comes in. Saves the day. But here we go. Um, from what I recall, this is a prequel to the first game. TV. Good start. I am the king of TVs. Why are there random TVs just throughout the level? You guys see that in the background? That's kind of cool. I go around it. Yeah. Can I break the TV? I will say, so far, um, and I know we've just started, the gameplay already feels way more fluid than uh, the first one. And I think that was an issue I had with the first game was how structured it was. Why are there those people inside? Are those the leeches? Aliens of leeches. Leeches for free. Um, crap, I forgot how to crouch. Thanks, game. <laughs> the game was like, I got you, fool. Oh, by the way, I watched a few videos explaining the ending. And I understand it a bit better now. Ah. So if you don't know, Calamity is a fellow friend of mine. We started Gamers Among Us together. Uh, which, if you don't know what that is, it's a... Where we used to... That's disturbing. Uh, we used to do, like, kind of weekly gaming videos. Telling you, hey, these are the games coming out this next week or something like that. But, um... We kind of had to take a, hi a hiatus? Hiatus? because of, you know, real life stuff. Calamity um, has had two kids since then. I have had my own issues. <laughs> I was in a relationship, then I was single, I was in another relationship now. So it's just been back and forth for us. And uh, we really didn't have time to continue GAU, but we used to a lot. Um, we do have plans to resurface it. We just haven't done anything on it. That's going to hit me. Like, is there... Alright, I want to see what happens. Ah. Lots of flies. Is the first guy going to be a fly? Anyways, yeah, Gamers Among Us. It's uh, something we both like. we're really passionate about. And, um, I mean, I still do, obviously, I still do the streaming, and I still do my own videos. I need to do more reviews. I haven't lately, if you guys have been watching my YouTube, I haven't really focused on reviews lately, just because I've been trying to do streaming more. I'm really enjoying the environment here. It's just, they've kept the creepy vibe 
that was in the first game. Uh, X sprint. I'm holding X. Apparently I didn't hold it fast enough. I'm gonna hide right here. Okay. Um, so, well that didn't work. I guess we just gotta run. Run little paper sack boy. Come back. I mean, obviously, you have to go up there. It's puzzle time. Um, I apologize for those watching. I've had coffee. And if you don't know, I'm very susceptible to coffee. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't drink coffee very often. So when I do, it goes quite gray. Can I go up that? Alright, we're gonna test. Hold on. Can I go up in here? I can! Super secret. Found this. Why are we not moving forward? All right, here we go. I really, um, I don't really have a lot of experience, um, say, making video games, but I think it'd be really cool to do a game that's similar in style to this game. Maybe not the same creep factor, but still kind of a dark game. I really think it would be a cool idea. Um, Probably have to run. Yeah, jump. Oh. I did have to run, but then I also died. Maybe I have to run from further back. Yeah, we'll take this rock as like our starting point. Ready? Set, go! Uh, yeah! <laughs> Completely agree. This is such an effective way to design a game. Excuse me. Having the force perspective, perspective limits what the player can get confused about or misunderstood. Yeah. Like, earlier, figuring out um, that puzzle, I knew that Okay, I can't really go very far in this game. So they limit where you can go. So I was like, well, they still use the environment to kind of push you to go places. So why don't I try to go up this tree? Because, you know, it does look like it's a hole. So it looks like something I could do. And then bam, now we are where we are. And we keep dying. I don't think I'm doing this right. Can I maybe, like, hang off of it? Jump? Hey. What? Did you guys see that? Did you press the Y button or the, the top button on your controller. He goes, hi. Hey, you guys! Okay, so that killed me. I'm trying to remember how to jump along. So, apparently, we were able to figure out the environmental cues and, uh, oh. I'm dumb. Like I said, they bring you stuff 
that will uh, let you work in the environment. And I just now noticed that rope hanging down. This is like, ugh. I thought I had to climb across or jump across. I was making it too difficult on myself. Okay, that's how I normally play games. So I like to make it way too hard than it really is. I do not like this foreboding music. Oh shit. Grab a shoe. Defend yourself. Yeah. My only shoe friend. Hi, shoe friend. Um. Oh shit. I legit jumped. Hold on, my heart's going a million miles a minute. So I was supposed to use the shoe. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Ugh. I'm gonna pause it right here just because I know with me drinking coffee that I'm gonna be more aggressively like, oh my god, than I normally am. Because I'm a normally pretty quiet person. And, uh... Yeah, I know it's gonna be uh, interesting, so I apologize right now for anyone watching. Oh, those are... Those are bear traps. A lot of them. Can I take that stick? I want that stick. No, it's mine. Oh shit. Oh my god, I just love this look right here. Where he's walking through it and you can just see... I don't know. I like the design of that a lot. There's a stick right here, so that means some shit's about to happen. Yeah. Great. I'm guessing there's a lot of them in here. I think I see one right there. like this um in the first game they have the depths which is kind of a similar style of fighting here where you're trying to like not step in the water but in this case it's not stepping on the leafy ground where all these bear traps are fuck oh we're about to find out if there's more bear traps okay good no oh. good oh boy girl whatever you might be please I really like that. Okay, I'll try to describe this. I know I'm like over describing things right now, but how, look. So when I played games back in the day, like say the first Uncharted, when they climbed it, you know, it was pretty awesome to see their feet match where they're supposed to go. But watch this little guy, girl, climb the railing. But like, do you see that? How it's moving? I know that's something so tiny, but I absolutely, <laughs> I love that inclusion that it makes it feel like your person has weight, you know? I don't know. Anyways, go forward. Uh-oh. They're drawing back, so something's about to happen. Somebody come get her. Where is that gonna hurt the, uh... Nothing bad at all, guys. With this creepy house, and now it's zooming in, and everything's getting dark except for this window. Is that something I can grab? Yeah. Hmm. 
Oops. Yeah, so let's step on the broken glass. That's always a smart idea. Oh, sh this is like the chef's house. Creepy as fuck. They definitely have kept the creep factor very well. Okay, now we're going downstairs. We're floating in the air. Oh. I'll help you out, buddy. Are we two sides of a coin? I wonder if, say, the person here with a bag on us, or their head. Oh. I wonder if... Um, I'm just gonna... I haven't played this game, so I have no idea, and I don't want any spoilers in chat, but I'm just going to say, I think that maybe, what if this is the person that brings that other character to the Maw, because it is a prequel, right? Yes, please, scrape it more. Oh, I didn't even see the knife in there. But like, that person in that room, what if that's six, you know? Probably run away too. Here to help you, I say as I smash through her door or their door. Well, are we surprised? that they ran off like that. I'm not. I want to see if I can grab this knife. No. Um, I'm going to go back in here only to see if maybe there's any secret. And I think You never know, you know. Might be something. Something's here. What happened? It looks like the guy is missing like his arm and his lower jaw. Like maybe they were eaten. Do you think this game series can't be creepier? Creepier until this stuff happens. I obviously can't get out of this room. I'm just gonna keep being like, no, you come here. so good at like providing a 
creep factor. That isn't. I don't know. It's something else, man. I'm so creeped out right now. You go over there. How do I? Bruh. 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 Can I help? Oh, there's a key. Up there, uh, we need that. The right above my head, the dude. Are they alive? Very alive. I feel like there's a broken mirror. So are these not people then? Are they sewed together? Because I mean, he did have a lot of, um, sewing shit down there. I'm just really curious if this game answers a lot of the questions I have from the first one, which is, you know, like, why is everyone so super ugly? Why are they killing the children? Oh, you want me to get on it? Oh, nice, so we don't have to carry it around. Without spoiling anything, yes, it does answer those questions, but only if you pay attention. Crap, I'm gonna be like this the whole time, like, one on. <gasps> hey, it's a gnome. Shit, so does that mean the geisha lady is here? Is this where the geisha lady starts? Those are some big old footprints right there. I was like, dude, dude, be quiet. There might be something over there. There are a lot of animal coats. I'm just taking it all in, the creepiness of this.
Shit, run! Oh shit! Run! Run, little us. Oh, he got me. I guess I need to follow where this one goes. What? I was behind the box. As a asthmatic, the breathing this guy's doing is so similar to what I've like had to deal with in my own past. Ugh. Sorry, I I'm watching the little the little kid and I keep forgetting to watch my own person. You'd be like, okay, let's look in the crevice down there. this in <laughs> exciting gameplay i think i'm gonna go ahead and keep playing for those streaming for those watching in the stream i don't know why i said for those streaming because i'm streaming uh for those uh on youtube this is where we're gonna stop right uh at this climactic moment so if you want to see more back for more great right, bye thank you everyone for tuning in and watching my let's plays if you're enjoying this, make sure you like the video and also subscribe and click that bell icon. It will help the channel out. Also, if you have any recommendations for any other games for me to play while I'm live or games for me to review, please leave a comment below and just let me know what you'd like for me to look into. If you'd like to contact me outside of YouTube, below in the comments I'll leave my Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and Discord information so that way you can reach me outside of the videos. This is The Still Grizzly thanking you once again for watching my videos.